New at six, burglars broke into several vehicles last night in Greenwood, and many of them were simply unlocked. Johnson County Sheriff Doug Cox said this is the unofficial beginning of the summer break in season, and drivers have to be more aware. Our Derek Thomas joins us now in the newsroom with more on that story. Derek? Todd, Sheriff Cox says the thieves are likely teenagers, kids that live nearby, kids that he hopes to catch in the act. At least eight vehicles were broken into in the Brookhaven subdivision, many of them along windswept drive, including this Chevy minivan in Sarah Horman's driveway. It was sad to see how many got broken into. I, you know, our neighbor told us that his, his car got broken into, and then all of a sudden they said they got broken into, and then another neighbor who actually got, you know, lots of stuff stolen from his vehicle was broken into. And so it was just, it's just a creepy, I just, creepy is the only word I can describe. Many of the vehicles that were hit were left unlocked. All that was stolen out of Horman's vehicle was a pair of gloves. But others were not so lucky. We'll have individuals leaving wallets, purses, uh, laptops, uh, a little bit of everything's been left in vehicles. And that's one of the things we want to stress. Uh, we want that stuff inside people's homes instead of in their vehicles. Tony Gibbons lives at 1411 Windswept Drive. His truck was broken into two, but the weird thing is that all they did was steal about a dollar fifty in change and politely organize items in his vehicle. I'm kind of your typical guy I'm a little bit of a slob and generally my uh, my truck is not that well maintained it's generally not that neat and so that's how I realized my truck had been broken into it's actually more organized than I left it and the sheriff says homeowners should always lock their vehicles and if possible park those locked vehicles in a locked garage Derek Thomas RTV6